Hey folks, Flip here, and today I want to show you how to build a custom birch tree. I've been working on a massive custom biome project inside my hardcore world with a load of these custom birch trees. The materials you're going to want is a diorite wall, birch wood, birch logs, and birch leaves. You can get away with just the birch wood if you would like to, but I like to save some materials as it's a bit cheaper to build out of these and then cover it up on top. For the base here, I want to add a few roots sticking out, kind of working with the terrain so it can come down here a touch. And maybe we also have another one going there. Jumping up top, though, we can start building out a few of our branches. And I like to stick them out at the base, going out about three blocks in total. And then from here, we can take a few of the walls and kind of stretch them out as some extra branches. In this case, let's go ahead and do a wall wall here and a birch log. I think we make these up as we go. And a little bit like that. My goal with this tree here is to be able to see the trunk of the tree. So I'm trying to think of building the branches in a way that are going to allow a little bit of the trunk to stick through once we add in all of of the leaves because you know birch wood it's beautiful the first layer is now complete and i like to put one going in every single direction as we move up to the top though things can get a little bit more wonky and not so consistent because it is a natural tree after all so the more cookie cutter you make it the less realistic it's going to look and in my opinion the worse it'll be so quickly running around adding in a few more of the uh, step three don't fall off the tree Right, so the base layer is about three wide, and then we have three of them up here that are going out two blocks on the logs. And then from here, I want to skinny it up even further and just going out a single with a wall at the end. And on this side, I'm only going to do another two or three, just again, so it's less consistent as we work our way up. From here, we can start using just a few of the walls themselves. And I think for now, it's going to be about this tall. I don't really have a strict number in mind. As you can see, they're all coming up to different heights, and I'm just kind of making it up as I go. Here, if you're doing it in survival i always like throwing in at the top so i can do this and just jump on top that is legitimately the only reason of i'm lazy on figuring out how to get on a wall otherwise now this i think i came up about six blocks here and just did a few of them poking out on the sides and then from here we go one two three four and five that to me gives a good height to match kind of everything else we have in here and it makes the top look super leafy once we're done at this point all of them are pretty much the same on how the leaves work is i like to just bring it sticking out here a touch following the shape on the walls that I did and then doing a little something like this at the base we can extend them down step one don't have sunflowers in your face it makes building really difficult but after you keep working with it you kind of keep bringing the leaves down just a touch and maybe two to three blocks hanging at most is kind of all I would do Maybe we can add a wall in here and just a little bit more to make it a bit more cohesive. First guy's done and looking very droopy. So we can add a little bit more on top to kind of make it feel fuller all around. In this case, maybe something like this. Just a few sticking up so we still get the angles when you're looking through. I love to be able to see on the far side of custom trees I make. Trying to add a few different shapes into the tree leaves themselves. So it just, again, we're breaking away from that cookie cutter because I don't want to just look at the tree and everything at the bottom layer be flat going all the way across. After the first layer is in, it's a lot easier as we work our way up because you can just kind of stand on the old branches that we made and as it's getting skinnier when you go, it just makes it a little bit easier to place everything else. Trying to get an airy look on the leaves, so sometimes you can see through and you just get little gaps, but I think this one hanging down a bunch will help overall. A good step here is to take a look back and does it look like a tree? It kind of barks like one, so it's okay. Here on top, I do like to cover the walls. These I'm more okay with leaving open for the thicker ones because I think it'll look nice. And then here we can kind of hide it so you only see it direct on from a few angles. And I fell again. Step seven, don't fall off the tree. Now over on this one, it's kind of a weird shape. So we're going to make a weird section for all the leaves over the top of it. And that will make it look a lot better in my opinion, because it's unique. There's a few different ways to build trees in Minecraft, which a big popular one is to build the same tree and just rotate it 90 degrees. And that'll work out really well. But for me, when I'm making them in survival, if I'm like pasting a schematic again and again and just rebuilding the thing, I get really bored with it. So I like to add in variety as I go just to make it more entertaining. Quick sidebar from the tutorial, but still related. This tree over here, you can see that open log face there and a log on the ground. And I left it really bare on this side, so it looks weird, but I'm trying to tell the story. I know, I'm telling a story with a tree here, but that it, the branch broke and it's on the ground and there's moss on log. 
But that's the story for another day as we can jump back into this guy. And this one needs to come down a little bit further as it's on the same layer there. And as I mentioned earlier, I do like to make them typically hanging two to three blocks down, probably more consistently two. And very occasionally, just to make sure it's not all the same, we go with a third. Now, one thing I'm not liking a whole lot right now is how open this section is. But instead of filling it with leaves, I think an important part is to build the upper part of the tree as we've got a branch right here that depending on how much we droop it down could actually fill that void that I have. So lining it around here again, like we normally do. And then some all the stuffy stuff right over in here. This is a fantastic tutorial and you all come to my channel for tutorials. Yep, I'm sure the tutorial for the stuffy stuff. Yep, that's how we add a lot of the leaves onto the tree. And now you see what I mean about how from the lower branches, we can build the upper ones and jump on top and keep working. I would highly recommend using a silk touch ax or pickaxe so that you can kind of control how you break them. A lot of people build custom trees with their efficiency five silk touch hoes or shears. And I find that I break too many leaves and I have a harder time getting the details in. So if you're struggling with that, try something that's a little slower like these guys. Now that those two upper leaves are filled in, how's it looking down here? Honestly, I don't think I need to fill that in anymore. I like that gap through it. That That's going to be a okay okay now we can move forward with the rest well i'm thinking on it if there's any other tutorials on random detail bits throughout this world you would like to see me do leave a comment down below and let me know also if you do enjoy this type of stuff be sure to leave a like on this video because it actually tells me that people want to see more because a comment from one person of hey go do tutorial on this thingy over there but then not many people actually watching the videos kind of tells me that okay maybe the one person needs it but not everybody would like to see it so i kind of got to pr prioritize as I go now up here though speaking of the tree and prioritizing as we go I get a little bit more relaxed on going very sporadic on leaves and everything as it goes up because I want it to be more full inside of a forest most of the active leaf growth and everything will be at the top of the tree since it's reaching for the sun not that they need to do that in game but if you want to have el natural looking trees make them more full towards the top you still want to keep the shape but how I have a lot of the air and openness down at the base of the tree up here towards the the top I'm filling in a lot more of the gaps and with these ones I don't like to extend them down too much because I think it looks a little weird so we can do that but then maybe from below we can also work this guy in here and that kind of helps hide things but still shows a tiny bit of the trunk getting higher up the tree there's less branches as they wouldn't be quite so big so we can just start filling in leaves as we go and don't really need to follow the rule of only filling in things around branches I do like to start off with this upper section though for all of the walls I added in just add a leaf on every single one of the sides and it'll help you fill in a lot of the base and we can kind of take it from there with all those walls outlined with leaves going all the way around it's already kind of filled in a lot of this top section from here though we really got to start being smart with how the leaves come together what I like to do is leave two to three blocks at the top and then work my way around it and maybe in this case we'll do one of the three then a one and then a two on that far side below the three I'm gonna leave a gap there but I would like to come over to the side out and link it in with those other leaves as a way to make it appear more solid this top wall here I do like to surround on every single side if I possibly can because otherwise to me it stands out a wee bit much now up there up there way way up there you can see the top of the tree really starting to come together but it looks almost a bit boxy so we can start jumping in a few places like this and maybe that one comes out one this guy right here could also come out one but that does create this three long diagonal which I'm not a huge fan of so we can break it up by just extending one down now comes for the very important part of I think the tree's done but how does it look from far away this for me the biome here is meant to be viewed from like this side of just looking at everything with the monolith in the distance and everything else here is supporting that so it doesn't have to be perfect because I don't want it to be super hyper detailed that I'm staring at it all the time so I think I like this I could nitpick at it all day but I have so many to build that I'm really okay with leaving it as is but I need my bed back and there you have it a tutorial on how to build a custom birch tree inside of your own Minecraft world let me know what you think down in the comments below leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to flip 2 if you're brand new over on this side I'm really close to 100,000 subscribers on this channel so I really do appreciate all your support but with that my friends I'll catch y'all on the flip side